Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle rant. Guys, I just got off the phone with Robbie Robinson, and I'm pissed. I'm pissed because I, you know, I, there's guys out there that just don't respect this legend in our sport. Uh, Jerry Ward did a video. You know, Jerry and I are, are friends, and, and I have nothing bad to say about Jerry, but I, I think Jerry's going on bad information. And Jerry, you know, used the term, he called him a scumbag. I mean, it, it, it just wasn't right. Uh, I think people feel that Robbie is trying to take advantage of people out there. And I, I, I want to just clear the air first of all. Number one, if you read the, if you've been following what's been going on, we raised money. Uh, a good friend of mine, Chad, who's friends with Robbie, put up a GoFundMe campaign. Robbie Robinson has sickle cell anemia. He's had it his whole life. As he's gotten older, however, he's had more and more problems, as all people with sickle cell anemia do. Most people don't even live that long, but Robbie's lived a healthy lifestyle, obviously. And that's enabled him to, to beat this disease so far. But, you know, every, sometimes more than once a week, he has to go and, and get a blood transfusion. What they do is they put new blood into him and it kind of waters down the sickle cell blood that he has and enables his body to carry oxygen properly. Because sickle cell uh, red blood cells do not carry oxygen efficiently. And it causes all kinds of health issues. Every time Robbie goes, it's not covered by his vet's, you know, benefits. He has to put out three, four hundred dollars out of his pocket. Some weeks he has to go two, three times. That's a lot of money. So we raised money. The original goal was 7000 We actually raised uh, double that. And Robbie had put up a post, I guess, on his Instagram. Now, Robbie goes on Instagram every day, and he answers people's questions. You know, he loves bodybuilding. His, the most important thing that comes out of his, his mouth when you speak to him on the phone, like I did just before, is his passion for the sport of bodybuilding. He loves it. He loves it. But he also has to pay his bills, you know, and he has to be able to, you know, to survive. And bodybuilding has been very good to him over the years. And now that he's in his, you know, in his 70s, it's harder for him to earn money. And he still has this medical, you know, bill that's always there, you know, almost every single week. So Robbie was giving an analogy on his, on, on his and I, I think it came off wrong. And, and, and he clarified on the phone for me. You know, he said, what he was basically saying is, I'm on Instagram all day long. I answer people's questions for free. People, you know, I, you know, a lot of guys charge for the information he gives out. He gives a lot of information for free. Now, granted, if you want to do coaching with him or posing, you know, he's got to charge you for that. But, you know, you're on Instagram asking him questions. He does spend a lot of time in there answering people's questions. He just said, made an analogy. Everyone who followed me gave me a dollar. One dollar. And I have 75,000 people following me. I'd have, I'd have enough money to pay for transfusions for the next five years, you know, whatever the, the case may be. That was, it was just an analogy. He wasn't asking everyone for 20 or 30 or $100. He was asking for $1. For anyone to, to get down on him and, and call him a scumbag and to make him seem like he's not such a great guy, even when Nick did his, his, his review of the whole thing, he was kind of like, well, maybe he's not a good guy. You know, Robbie's a great guy. And does Robbie have all the foibles of a normal human being? Sure. I'm sure he's got faults, and you can pick those out all over the place, just like I do and all of us do. But the bottom line is that Robbie was just making an analogy, and, and I understand the analogy. Guys, one, what's one dollar out of your pocket? You know, if you, if one dollar for a legend, one dollar, you know, to give to a guy who's down at his luck and who's a, an older man and who needs constant medical treatment that's costing him out of his pocket, that's all he was saying. He didn't mean that if you didn't give him the money that he was gonna like try to shoot you or, or he was gonna not talk to you. He just was saying, hey, you know, my, I wouldn't even have to have a GoFundMe campaign if, if everyone just gave me one dollar of all the people who love me and, and, and follow me. He, he has guys sending him, you know, five, ten thousand dollar checks in the mail just because they've known him for 30, 40 years and they're friends of his and, they, and they're very well to do. And, and they always take care of him. So, I mean, he has people who can help him out in emergency funds, but he was just saying in general. And I think it was misconstrued. And you know what? I read the post. It, it didn't come off right. But look, you're talking about a guy who's in his 70s now, all right? You know, that, that wasn't a malicious post he made. And for people to jump down his throat and say that Robbie Robinson's a bad guy, that's just wrong. That's wrong. And I'm ranting about it because I'm pissed off. And, you know, rather than get on, everyone was like, oh, you got to respond to this. I said, you know what? I, I don't even know what's going on. I'm going to call Robbie because Robbie knows what's going on. If Robbie could have said, yeah, fuck those people, you know. No, he didn't say that. He goes, Dave, I would never say that. I don't, I, if people don't want to give, I don't, I don't care. I was just making an, I was trying to make an analogy that, you know, I don't need, you know, $100 from a person. If every one of my fans just gave me $1, which is change the fools out of your pocket, I wouldn't even have to ask for anything. He, 
Look, he's a very proud guy. He doesn't want to have to ask people for money. Think about if you were in your 70s. Would you want to have to ask people for money so that you could pay bills, medical bills, and for food? No way. No way. You wouldn't want to have to worry about that at that point. Most people have you know, pensions or Social Security. You know, Robbie you know, lived the bodybuilding lifestyle his whole life. And, and he, did he ever figure he was going to have a, you know, to pay bills for the rest of his life? No. I mean, I think you, you, we all think at some point we're going to have some kind of a comfort zone. So for you guys you know, to jump down his throat, you know, that's just not cool. What if Arnold didn't make it as a star? And even though he won, he won seven Olympias and he would have just you know, retired and he was down on his luck. Would people be putting down Arnold if Arnold was trying to you know, ask for help? No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. So guys, shame on you out there. Shame on anyone who's been putting down Robbie Robinson. We should support this guy and lift him up. And yeah, like I said, not everyone's perfect. He's, you can find plenty of foibles, I'm sure. Rob, we all have said things that maybe we regretted or we didn't word properly. Okay? Give the guy a break. Robbie Robinson's a legend. Love the guy. Robbie, uh, I hope you uh, are watching this video because there's a lot of people out there that love you, support you, and don't have the same attitude that some of these other guys out there have. Guys, before you start talking about legends like Robbie Robinson, think about what you're saying. I'm Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle Rant.